It's game day in the snake bit. The Cairns type ends take on the Melbourne Tigers. It is 45-43 at halftime. We're checking in with Zach from Gilligan's. Mate, we're at the bottom of the ladder right now, right? 60% of the way through the season. I see potential out there. I see some stars. What do we have to do to get into the playoffs? You're just got to string a few wins together. Like, we're only one or two games out of sitting in that fifth spot. To punch it through to fourth might be a little bit harder, but there's no reason we can't do it. We get a few wins on the board, get on a bit of a roll, we can be in it. All right, so you're Aaron Fern tonight. You're sitting over there. You're two points clear of the Tigers. We're playing well. We're playing better. What do you tell your team? What crosses and Xs and zeros are you drawing on that scrap board to say, let's take it home tonight? I've played for Fernie, and I've worked on this team when he's been the coach, and but he's the most thorough coach there is in the league. He, he knows what he's doing. He'd just be saying to the guys, keep it simple, do what we do best, put the ball in the ring, stop them on the other end, and let's just get this done. All right, we're going to check in with some more people around here tonight for Type NCB. Zach from Gilligan's, thanks for the heads up. And um, just, just saying this out here, one of the boys gets injured, you've played for Fernie before, would you be willing to get on court? Oh, mate, I'm past it. Like, these guys are good, I, I don't know about it. We are in the snake pit for Type End CV, and I'm talking to a man who was arguably one of the Type End's biggest fans. In fact, I believe you were born a brunette, you changed your hair, you went orange, just purely in support of the Type End's. No, you're 100% right. I, I endured years, years and years of painful hair changing uh, operations, and now I'm ginger all over. The drapes and the curtains, they all match. It's all fluorescent ginger. I've seen, I'm seeing, and they do match. Now, let, let's, let's talk about uh, tonight's game. It has been an absolutely fantastic performance from the tight bands. Where do you think this game is going to end? And do you think it says good things about the rest of the season? I, I think it does. And it reminds me of a saying that Abe Lincoln once said, which was, I'm a genie in a bottle. You've got to rub me the right way. And the tight bands, they're like a genie, but they haven't been rubbed the right way the whole season. Now they're starting to rub it the right way. And it's, it's magic, baby. It's magic. It sounds like a, a locker room scene that I do want to see. Now, let's have a talk. What does it take to be a Taipan fan? Well, normally lots of rum, but uh, no, look, man, I, lo I just I love basketball. I mean, I follow the Marlins and then the Taipans all my life. But you know, if the Marlins or the Taipans, if they were playing street ball on the side of the road in the McDonald's car park, I'd go and watch it. I love basketball, man. It's a disease. All right, and what about to all the kids who you might see this? Uh, and who may want to play for the tight bands one day, what words of encouragement have you got for them? Well, look, I, I think when, I, when kids at home see this video and they see me, they will understand that practice, hard work and dedication means nothing. If you're not born like this, if you're not born pretty, you're never going to be this pretty. Remember, kids, you too can have a body like this through neglect. No one If you're a Taipans fan, you absolutely know this man. His name's Piv. Some would call him the voice of the basketball. Piv, how are you, champ? Very well. Some would call me the loud, annoying one in the corner. Correct. Now, give us you know, like the chant that you're famous for. Defense. Give us a crack. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, you've got to commit to it. If you're going to do it, you've got to really do it. Yeah. It's defense! Right, cool. Glad we got that covered. Two, two step, D and fence. D and fence, yeah. There's not much to it. It's more about the way you say it, not what you're saying. It's more about your attitude. Got to get a bit of aggression in there. Got to be loud. Got to be nasty. Yep. D fence! See, this is the man who's making us uh, lead up 64 60 as we get closer to the, the fourth quarter, I suppose I should say. Now, look, one thing I want to touch base on. 
There was a while ago where we didn't hear your dulcet tones, we didn't hear the defence. We're a community team. The community championed your cause and we brought you back in. How did it feel? It felt awesome when I came back. Uh, I've had a lot of positive comments from uh, the, uh, the audience. Uh, a lot of club members have come up and saying how good it is to be back. And uh, I agree with them. I'm loving it. I'm uh, really happy to be back with the Thai fans. All right, do you want to give a bit of a shout out to all the fans that sort of um, put you back in the box seat? Absolutely. Good on you guys. Thanks for supporting me. And uh, it's great to be back.